go. Hello and welcome back to Destiny Light's channel. Today we'll be uh, doing a requested video on how to set up IPs and everything for the server of the video I made earlier, well, a while back on JKA. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is figure out what your IP is for your router. So you can type in CMD and uh, the search bar for the pop up. Uh, I should probably close. Okay, yes, but if you think about it, it should not be everyone's default gateway can be different. Right, so you do IP config, and I'll post all the steps in the in the um, description. And when you get that up, yeah, when you do that, you go to your default gateway. Mine's actually a MAC address for some stupid reason, but it's right here as well. So you always want to look for this one, the one that's actually in an IP. So once you get that, you can close that out. And keep in mind, everyone, I have a different provider now, so it'll be a different setup for me now. So you go to, you type in that address that you just searched for on command prompt which is right there for me. And depending on who your provider is, like I don't like my new provider because I moved and they don't have Comcast over here. So it kind of sucks. But you go to your provider, you log in. I don't have to log in. Go to Firewall. And for me, it is, I believe, Net Gaming. Yeah, yeah Net Gaming. And you log in, you get your server set up. So, like, for JK, even though I don't have a JK server right now, you go, oops, my bad, delete that one. But for, I show them how to, how to uh, find the ports for the game? I will. But for um, JK, like, for my router, you can just type in J and you can find it. Like, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, or I know what the other one's called by its technical term. Um, yeah, I really don't know what that one's called. Do you, Shinobi? What, like the technical JKA? term of JKA? Uh, Jedi Knight, Jedi, Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. Oh, well, apparently it's not on my router, apparently. I have StarCraft. But anyways, um, you go here, set up your router for it, and to find the ports, you can go to two different places. You can, well... I always use this place, so I'll just show you this one place. You can go to portforward.com. I think it's dot .com. Yeah. yeah, dot .com. And how to forward a port. And once you get here, you go scroll down, list of all routers. Load. There we go. And you find your router. For me, it is Eris. So you can click your letter and find it, Eris. I really hate this router. Then you find your model. That is the next thing you have to find is your model router. So mine would be, honestly I have no idea what mine is. Uh, by the way, just real quickly, um, uh, when you're done with this, with the tutorial, send me a link so I can put it in my description of this video so uh, I can get more traffic over to you. All right. Alright, so, as I was saying, before I was so kindly interrupted, <laughs> which I don't really mind, he's a good friend, but, um, this is my model number, so, that's what I look for, right there, I think that was that one, no, wrong one, well, either way, um, they actually don't have the one I need, so I'll just click that one to show you guys what I mean, alright, so we got all this stuff set up, and, this is just how to set up proper ports and everything for your router. So what you want to do is go to find the games, how to port for the game. And if you're doing a PC, Xbox, this has it all, but you want to go PC for the game we're setting up, which is JKA. This is all game and applications. You can do Control F or you can go find it yourself. I'm going to do Control F. Which finally it does not exist. 
I mean, the good thing for me is I already know the ports, but this is basically how you find it. Oh, maybe it's on the Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars Jedi, Jedi Academy. Click that one. And you go find your router. So I'm an heiress. I'm going to find it. There it is. Go to this one. This is the same thing I showed you guys earlier. It'll tell you what ports to set up. 28, 28070 to 28081. And that's basically all you really need to know is what ports to set up but you can use the default ports for it which are 29070 and 29071 those are the easier ones to use and then after you get that you can either do one of two things you can get a free host from noip.org oops that's the wow server but yeah noip.org you go here when it loads. I'm sorry, I'm on my mother's Google account, but that's because it's her computer. So you go here, sign up, do all that fun stuff, and set up your your um, host. Or you can just do this. What's my IP dot com? No, just type in what's my IP. Don't worry about the dot com. So this is what it shows for me, but you probably won't get this. This is a MAC address. The, well, I don't know why the easiest way to figure out what yours is is go to CMD, command prompt, obviously, IP config, and you go to IPv4, and that'll give you your IP that you need to port forward in your router. But for me, obviously, I just go here, log into the NAT Gaming, and it'll do it for me. The whole setup the router thing will do it for me. And then you uh, go, uh, go ahead. Uh, the, the, when you were talking about what is my IP, that's your external IP. That's what you yes, that is your external IP. That's what you give to the end users. Yes, along with the port. If without the port, you cannot connect. Well, they can't connect. But for you, you can just use 127.0.0.1 and the port, and it'll let you connect. Make sure you give them the proper port. Like if you set it for a 29070, you have to give them the external IP, colon, 29070. If you don't do that, they cannot connect. It was, it was wait at, waiting to connect. And they'll never be able to connect. Right. Um, am I missing anything, Shinobi? Um, uh, don't um, have any, like when you do the IP, external IP address on the, uh, uh, the port and the colon or whatever, don't use any spaces. Yeah, don't use spaces because if you use spaces, it's obviously not going to work. And, uh, and in JK, you just uh, press. Shift tilde, which is the number next to one or above tab below escape, depending on your keyboard. Yeah, and then it's uh, backslash connect. Um, actually, you can use either backslash or forward slash, because it'll fix it on its own. And you do slash connect space the IP colon, and then the port. The only time you put a space is in between the two things, connect and uh, the IP and port. But don't put a port, I'm um, a space in between the IP and the port. Put a colon. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyways, I think that covers everything. If you guys have any more questions, including the person who requested this video, feel free to ask me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe. See you guys next time.